Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you a new feature in Power Pages that I think is really cool, and that's the ability to call a Power Automate flow from directly within Power Pages. Now, this is something that technically we could have we could do for quite a while now. A few years ago, I wrote a blog post on how to invoke a flow using HTTPS from your Power Pages site, or at that time, Power Apps Portals. Now, it wasn't exactly secure, and there was a few things that you could do to work around that to make it more secure using API management and a few other tricks to understand where the source URL was coming from and a few things like that. It wasn't great, and at that time, that purpose was to update information directly in Dataverse. Now, what came along was the Web API, which basically replaced some of that functionality. However, not everybody is you know, fully comfortable with writing that type of code. And there are times when you want to integrate to other services. And this is where Power Automate really shines. There is a, over a thousand connectors for um, Power Automate, for Power Apps as well, that you can talk to to get information from you know, a particular service or source and have that fed back. And now the cool thing about this new feature is this will feed this information back to a web page. Um, we're gonna do something really simple. We're gonna take it right from the documentation where we're just gonna get the weather. You're gonna be able to go to a Power Pages page, put in your location, it's gonna call the flow, it's gonna to talk to MSN weather. Based on that location, it's gonna give you what the current weather is. Pretty simple functionality, but however, you could also use Power Automate to do things like currency conversions. Um, maybe tie it into a shipping website to find out shipping if you're shipping up stuff or delivery dates, um, you know, even, you know, translations, uh, payment gateways. The list is endless. So this to me is one of the most important features that's been released for Power Pages in the last a while. And believe me, there's been a lot of features being released. So let's dive in and take a look. I've been just talking away and uh, it's better to show you. First thing we're going to do is I'm on the Power Pages homepage and I'm gonna go right to my solutions because we can, we can go directly in solutions in Power Pages. Uh, we have an environment variable. I'm not gonna worry about that. That's something else I've been working on. Um, basically, I'm, I do have an unmanaged solution. I'm gonna find my unmanaged solutions here. And here one, Power Platform Boost. Listen, like, subscribe, Power Platform Boost, everyone, every two weeks. And basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go into my cloud flows and I'm going to add a new cloud flow. And it's just gonna be instant. Now what's gonna happen is this is Power Automate, which I'm sure all of you have written or done Power Automates before. If you haven't, get on board. Power Automate's really cool. We'll just skip this and we're going to dive in. First thing, I'm gonna start searching for my connectors and triggers. I'm gonna search for Power Pages. So this will come up here, Power Pages when Power Pages calls a flow. And we're gonna to get to that in a few minutes. That is gonna require a little bit of code at this point, um, but that's all good. So first thing what I wanna do is I'm gonna rename this. I'm going to, oh, actually I can't. Power Pages calls a flow. I'm gonna add an input here. And my input's gonna be text. And I'm just gonna actually ask for the location. And I'm gonna say, please enter a location. Simple enough. Let's uh, make the size a little bit bigger for you all. There we go. A little bit smaller, there we go. Cool, all right, that's for interlocation. That's good, now my next step is, I'm going to, this is where we're going to pick the service we wanna to talk to. MSN weather is pretty easy, pretty simple uh, explanation. Everybody, everyone loves to talk about the weather, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the forecast for today because you know what, this is something that, hey, I'm curious, what's the weather gonna be like today? That's the first thing we do when we get up, right? So we get the forecast for today, the location. Now this is where it's going to pass that parameter that we got earlier. So I'm going to pick my location and that is from my flow earlier. Uh, units, I live in the real world, so I'm gonna choose metric. Sorry, my friends in the US, but everybody else is on the metric system. Catch up. We'll, uh, we'll wait the appropriate uh, decimal minutes for you. Okay, we got the location for today. And the next thing I can do is start adding some additional steps for that get weather action. So first thing I'm gonna do, actually what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna get the weather 
And now what I want to do is same thing with my, again, power pages. Choose this, and now we're going to return values to Power Pages. This is the secret sauce right here. This is what makes this really powerful. Yes, we could call flows before, and then yes, it could spit back, and we could manipulate it using JavaScript and whatever, but this is going to spit back this information in a secure fashion. That is the key here. We don't have to worry about some of those other security issues we had by hacking it away before. So this is pretty cool. I'm gonna choose that. And now I'm gonna choose a whole series of outputs that we're going to be getting from our weather forecast. So I'm going to quickly speed this part up because there's a lot of different things. All right, so I've gone through, I've added all of these units. Let's just change the screen size just for a little bit so you can see all the wonderful pointing and clicking that I've done. So we see here uh, in terms of, it's really probably hard to see, return values to power pages. I've got pressure, humidity, temperature, UV index, wind speed, location, longitude, latitude, temperature units, a few other things. Now I've noticed in the documentation, uh, there's been some updates, I think to the MSN um, uh, connector. So there are a few different things, but anyways, we have that. So this really is our flow. Pages calls a flow get our forecast, return the values to Power Pages. Again, if you have other services, let's say you wanna do like shipping, uh, you know, payment info, currency conversion, a lot of different things, um, different things we could do here. So I'm just gonna call this flow get current weather. Easy peasy. And if you've never created a flow before, go ahead, create one. Creating flows are cool. They do a bazillion different things. I love Power Automate, it's one of my favorite features. Even though I know I do a lot of videos and stuff on Power Pages, to me, Power Automate is the, it's the stuff. Okay, cool. Now, what we need to do is add this to a site. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go back to here. I'm gonna go back to the homepage. And I'm going to now go into Edit. All right, so I'm here in the design studio. We've created our flow. I'm gonna to go to the setup workspace and we have a lot of different things here. So notice we have cloud flows preview. We're gonna choose this. And what's gonna happen is here's our get current weather. We've added that. So I'm gonna add that cloud flow, get current weather. I'm gonna add some security roles, anonymous users, authenticated users. We're gonna let everybody access this flow. Now, something you wanna be aware of if this is going to consume if you're gonna have a lot of like hundreds of thousands of users, this is going to count against your cloud your cloud flow runs. So make sure you do the math on that, that if you are gonna have a lot that you have a, the proper licensing to cover that and it makes sense financially for you. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna add those roles and we have that there. And then I'm also going to capture that URL, copy to the clipboard. We're gonna need this in a few minutes to be able to trigger that particular cloud flow from our Power Pages site. Let's click add, fingers crossed. And there we go, we have that cloud flow. It is part of our site now. Okay, next part, how are we going to be able to trigger this? Now this is where we're going to, currently we're going to need to use code to trigger that particular Power Automate cloud flow. I know a lot of people are kind of hoping and expecting um, the ability to add that as a control. Um, I believe that's on the roadmap. Don't quote me on that, but that's the idea there. But for today, um, we're already way ahead of the game with this. So I'm going to add a brand new page. I'm going to call this, um, what are we going to call this? I mean, we're going to, today's weather report. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, today's weather report, add that, add that to the main navigation. And we have this page here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in directly edit this particular. We're going to open Visual Studio Code because we are going to add code. Now, I'm going to paste in the code directly from um, the documentation. Uh, you know, I'm not, why, why are we going to reinvent the wheel? Uh, I want to allow this, I'm going to have to sign in, all the regular stuff, uh, keep new theme, that's cool. 
So we have this here. I'm going to copy that code, but we're going to take a look at that code too. We're going to walk through it a little bit. So I'm just going to add that to the bottom here. So we have some, some divs here. We have like the weather detail, the weather labels, weather buttons, um, temperature, a few other things. So we're really the style of the output. Um, we're having a label here to do an input form and a submit button. So this is just regular HTML form stuff. We're not even using Dataverse forms for this. Um, some of the other detail we're gonna want to uh, capture, we have some stuff in here. This will be interesting to see how this works out. We might need to make a few little changes here. Ah, but here's what we're looking for, the Cloudflow URL. We're gonna need to replace this. So again, Windows V is your friend going to paste that in and we're going to do control S. So that's going to save all this. Now what's happening is it's basically taking that information as a payload and it's going to put this all in and it's going to shove it into the flow, trigger the flow, run it and, sh and shoot it back out again. This is all good. So let's go back to our page. We're back to our page. Let's sync this. Sync the configuration. And so here, what's the weather location to find out? Pretty straightforward stuff. Interesting, you know, the forms, this will be a good topic for another day. I'm just gonna hit preview here. Let's go to desktop. So here we have our page, what's the weather? Let's enter a location. I'm currently in Ottawa and let's hit submit. And wow, it is a hot day today, 34 degrees Celsius in Ottawa. 10 to 10 kilometers, UV index seven. Definitely was a hot day today. Let's wonder if it's a little bit colder place. Let's um, let's try, uh, let's, what's, what's it like in Vancouver today? 20 degrees, a little bit cooler, a bit sunny. Uh, what about New York? Any friends out in New York there? Big shout out to y'all. Pretty warm there too. Let's see what uh, my podcast host, Elrika, what's stuff like in Oslo? 17 degrees, a little bit cooler there, mostly sunny. So yeah, a lot of interesting things with this, which is really cool. So what we're able to do is we're able to put in a value. It's going to run that flow. It's going to get the weather. It's going to spit it back to a page. How cool is this? This is something that would have been taken um, a lot of development cycles uh, and Azure companion apps, this types of things. Now we can do this in Power Automate very quickly. This to me, like I said, this is really going to open, blow the doors off of a lot of Power Pages development. Really curious to see what you're going to do with this particular feature. I have a few ideas thinking of things like um, tying this to um, doing kind of shipping calculations, doing currency conversions, um, maybe tying into other services as well. Um, this is just going to solve a lot of problems. So this is a great feature. Try it out. Um, and hopefully this uh, accelerates your PowerPages projects.